Hi, we're back, and this is Jessica and Crystal, and this is a video just basically about um, uh, some horror movies that I own. I, I don't own a lot, no, no. but um, they're not necessarily all my favorites, but at the same time, I enjoy them. I mean, there's some that I haven't gotten around buying because, you know, you've seen them before, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of like when you get to there, to the point of buying them, you're like, but uh, this is something new, you know? All right, so remember, this is like one of the oldest that I, that I brought. This is a uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse, the special edition, because I was in this mode back when this movie came out that Amelia Jovich was just so kick-ass, and I loved her. And, you know, it's just a slipcase, and this is like the nemesis and stuff on it. And it's uh, a two-disc, or I guess you can say. Hold on. Yeah. Let me just do one quick thing. What? That? No, you don't have to show that. That was just an advertisement. No, for... no. Look! Nothing there! Great! Yeah! <laughs> it's not eco-friendly. See, I, I love things like this. So I, I really brought this cause, because I loved it. The fact that it had, like, non-stop action and stuff like that. And Amelia Jovich in that great trailer with Papa Roach with not listening. And her running down the... the, the, the the um the building mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah so this is why and the slipcase was just a plus i mean i think it looks awesome but yeah mm. this one i brought just recently this is called happy birthday to me mm. um i think they're remaking it i love this movie look at this i mean the fucking uh what do you call that the the poster just says it all and this actually has the original score and everything, and I, I love this movie because I thought it was just a nice little. I never it. seen it. You never seen it because you never wanted to see it because of the. The little. Yeah, the shish kebab. Little, yeah, that is disgusting. What is this movie even about? Um, it's just about. I can't tell you. I can't really tell anyone what this movie's about, without um Genius. spoiling it, because it really is a who done it. I couldn't even figure out who did it. I mean, it was such a surprise at the end. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I was like, hey. whoa. That's the second, <clears throat> and now we're moving on to the third. This is not in any particular order. I'm just, I just made a stack, you know. Yeah. Next one in my, on my stack is the oh, original. Oh, has to be Halloween. Halloween. The original. Here we go. The big motherfucker of all motherfuckers. Yeah. Yes. Halloween. And it was. And well, it has this awesome thing inside that's also going on my wall. This move. This, this is awesome thing. And it was actually really strange because yeah. the the new one that just came out in theaters, um, that movie didn't even scare me. It like it, it like it, it took away all my fright. But every time when I see that particular movie, it's like it scares me. I don't know because why. it's such a different thing. And plus the atmosphere in this movie, the suspense, you know, the coloring and the shadows, everything. And it's like him and there's like he's it's like he's doing more popping out. Like he's yeah, popping he, out like everywhere, and, everywhere. and John Carpenter does an amazing job of playing with you. You know, opening the door, you mm. know, and seeing that he's outside, and then you see like a dog go through, and the door's still open. But wait, what's gonna happen? I mean, even if you've seen the movie a hundred times, like I have, yep. I mean, you know, you still get those chills, and you know the way he's portrayed in this movie, just like as the ultimate evil. You can't. What happened? <laughs> you can't get away from it. It's the classic, the awesomeness. And while I'm holding this, I do have Halloween 2. I can't find it. No, Crystal's not there. I think it fell behind the thing. <clears throat> well, while she's looking, she might find it, but I do have Halloween 2. Oh, this is also, note, the extended edition. It has 12 minutes that they made for television. Um, Halloween 2 is basically... I like it, but I don't love it as much as the... Um, yeah, the new one. Oh, shit, yeah, bring it. Uh-oh, we found it. Halloween 2. Well, uh-oh means I found it. Yeah. And, uh, I don't love this as much as I love, um, what you call that, the new one. Because she's stuck in that fucking hospital. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis doesn't, it's like, she's not acting. She's just there, you know. She's, she's like, I'm saying my back hurts. I'm just going to lay down. And then the whole time, you know, she's like, uh, 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 uh. and then, and really, that. 
in this movie, they didn't even do a good job with their lighting. Because, like, yes, when they, they were did. outside, when they were outside, you could see that the light was right there. And you could see people standing right there. Remember when I showed you? When I showed you that they were, like, standing right there behind her. When we do a review on this on Halloween, <laughs> you know... We we will talk about all that and also the fact that he walks by like what a good like ten people and doesn't kill them mm. and um but you know it also has many memorable scenes the fire scene the lady who gets scalpeled and her shoes fall off <laughs> but let's let's not say too much although these are the classics you can stay on them forever Man, what the but here is the new classic for the new generation, and this is Halloween, the two-disc special edition. I know, shoot me, I don't have the three-disc. Stop. Yeah. All right? And um, this is like a little snap cover, I guess you can say. And I have this. Oh, whoa. What happened to my other disc? Oh, it's probably still in there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, so I don't have the disc. But, yeah, this is one of my favorites since I love the ending. It's much more brutal. And I really feel like he's out together. I mean, I mean, in the original, you know, he's, like, missing and shit. And, like, he doesn't miss on anyone else. You know, like, act like you want to get the bitch. But, yeah. Obviously not as creepy as the original because because it's, you know, different. And we, I don't know, it's just a different magic that the first movie had. Next one is Halloween 2. As you know, I was so excited. Love this. The unrated director's cut. Unfortunately, eco-friendly, but yeah, love it, love it, love it. Next is a one that I did a review on just recently, and it's called The House of the Devil. And you've seen this, the slipcase and everything like that. Again, this is also proving to us that classic horror is not dead, and it's really great. And I see the review, and you'll see for yourself just how great it is. <clears throat> I have Halloween 4, the special edition in the tin. It should be inside there somewhere in my closet, but I just grabbed this because it's much more, you know, feasible <laughs> to hold this. So anyway, you know the tin? The tin that yeah, we have? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, the tin, you know, it was like, I don't, I don't really like the tin. The oh, yeah, tin. she, I remember that, that this, she went crazy. She made like a huge mountain in here. We're looking only for that movie. And of course, you can find yeah. it. The Halloween Five, even though it's in here, it doesn't really count. I I love I I like Halloween Five. I like it, so it does count. Let's say, love Halloween Four. It gets back to the basics. Love Halloween Five because it's just trying to go to a new level. But unfortunately, they pussied out like usual. You know, they won't let Danielle be the killer. But yeah, but. This is a great little time where we got to cheer behind Daniel Harris when she was a little kid. So, yeah. Open this up. Let's just go for them, as you can see. Uh, next one that I own. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is the classic Nosferatu. But this one has the, uh, the music by Type O Negative. Was there any music in there? Yeah, it has some metal music. For the whole time. Unfortunately, I should have gotten the, the original music, but I couldn't get it. And I didn't want to buy it again. I thought the metal was just fine. And this is the special collector's series of Nosferatu. Because you can't be a horror fan without this great piece of work. And it's so creepy when he comes up, especially that scene right there, if you can see it. With his nails and everything. Yeah, I mean, people that were working with nothing in a day. And to have him disappear with simple little mirror tricks. Awesome. And Friday, Friday the, the 13th. 13th. Yes. Friday the 13th. The original. Let's not get confused. Okay. As you can see, I love this little case because it kind of changes and stuff. In a slip case, as you can see. Running out of time here. But, yeah. Put that back. And then, I don't have Friday the 13th Part 2, unfortunately. I want it. I'm going to get it. Friday the 13th, part 3D. 3D, 3D. Love this. With 3D Jason glasses. If you want to see that, just ask me. Or just buy it for yourself. I don't have Ginger Snaps part uh, part 1, but I do have Ginger Snaps Unleashed. I love Ginger Snaps the first one, but kind of like this one. is the only one I could find at the time because Blockbuster was closing and I couldn't find the other one. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Virginia Snaps Unleashed with Catherine Isabel, who we all love. Enjoy a little cameo. And of course, the plan! Yes, and this is the end. I can't go any farther than this. If you want to see more of my DVD collection, just ask. And this is us. Bye.